Galatians 1.10 For I, am I now seeking the favor of man or of God? Or am I striving to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Recently, the Lord taught me this. Good morning. My name is Kyungsik John. I'm from South Korea. By grace of God, I'm completing this study at TMS. Take a look back at my life. The best answer I have ever said is saying yes. When my aunt came up to me and asked the question, would you go to church with me? Then I said yes. Although at the time, every Sunday, 9 o'clock a.m., there was a famous cartoons in Korea. So I was really enjoying that cartoon. However, for any reason, I said yes, and I just obeyed my aunt. And that brought my life to the eternal life in heaven, even my sister. And a few years later, years later, my parents also was saved. So I'm so thankful to the Lord that he came to me and I said yes. <coughs> the Lord called me to TMS in 2013. Actually, the two months before, <clears throat> my fellow Christian friends said that You should, you should trust the Lord only, not man. And also the other person said that. You be a humble man. You be a good Bible teacher. This is all that I want you. And right after I started a TMS... I had to put down all my pride because when I had the first Hebrew class, <laughs> even the professor described the vowel chart as a scary chart. <laughs> and I was totally lost. And Greek grammar, I saw the lure, the verb, how many different forms of lure and the table I wasn't able to memorize all of them. But those are just beginning grammar. Even when I was taking Dr. Mook's class, two theology classes, you know, these are the hardest class ever I have ever taken. <laughs> but that's not Dr. Mook's problem. That's my problem, I would say. <clears throat> and also... While I was studying here, I saw so many outstanding students and excellent professors. So I felt many times I'm so small and I felt I'm not ready. But now I realize that it was kind of blessed despair. So I'm so thankful to the Lord. I would like share with you three things while I was staying, uh, studying at the TMS about God's grace, uh, grace and goodness. The first one, the biblical counseling, counseling class actually opened my eyes to the whole new world. Although I was a Christian, I didn't know much detail about the sufficiency of Scripture and how human heart is evil, and the word of God is the only solution, not human counseling. In addition, conflict resolution class really changed my life because I had to apply all the biblical principles on my life whenever I had a problem with other people. So I learned from this class that I need to repent my sin first, and then I can see brothers and sisters through clear eyes.
And second thing, as other students shared, financial difficulties. As we know that we seminary students are poor financially. However, God is faithful. He provides everything. My experience is the same. One time my fellow Christian told me that not just focusing on praying to God what you need, but you need to look up the heaven and seek the one who provides everything to you. And then one day, my bank balance was almost close to zero. And we didn't know what to do. However, I remembered what my fellow Christian taught me. And then I asked my wife, let's pray together. Let's look up the heaven and seek God. We prayed. We knelt down and prayed. And then a few days later, we have a visitor from my local church. He brought so many food and even money. And a few days later, we received so many checks from church and friends. That was awesome. We didn't really expect it. And even one day, one of my fellow Christians came up to me and then he said that, brother, can I give you $100? And I said, why? I don't need that. And he said that, I just want to give it to you. And on the same day, the car battery died and I had to pay almost $100. <laughs> I'm so thankful. And one day, one of my elders came up to me and said that, I want you to finish your semester. It was May. And he said that, I just want to give you this check. I didn't know why, but I accepted it. I said, thank you. But at that time, actually, somebody broke my car and ran away. So I had to pay $500 of deductible. And he just paid deductible. I was just so thankful. As I shared this experiences, we will experience the same things. So do not worry about financial difficulties. Seek God faithfully. God will provide you everything. And taste the faithfulness of God and awesomeness of God. The third thing, during the orientation in 2013, Dr. Buzinis taught us the priority and the value of family. He said that family is the first, and then ministry comes after. I was so impressed by the teaching, and I realized that how much the important the family is. So I shared this with my wife, and then one day I was so busy to do my homework assignment, I didn't take care of my family responsibility, and she was so upset, and she came up to me and said that, what did Dr. Puzin say to you? <laughs> Didn't he say that family is important? And I immediately close the book and I say, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> so don't forget about the priority and value of your family. My future plan, I'm currently serving a Korean church in LA. I want to continue to serve that church if the Lord is willing. Thank you.